Hello South Africa. It is Sunday, April 24, 2022 and here are the top 5 stories that have made headlines for today. Former Springbok Pedri Wannenberg killed in horrific accident. A family member has just confirmed that former Springbok player Pedri Wannenberg was killed in a horrific accident in Houston, America. His family was with him at the time of the accident. It is believed the family was on their way to the movies when the accident happened. Wannenberg reportedly got caught up in a high-speed chase of a teenager who was evading the police. Woman employed by Ethiquini Metro shot in the head multiple times. A 36-year-old Ethiquini Metropolitan Municipality employee was shot and killed on Saturday, April 23. KwaZulu Natal, KZN, private security company, Reaction Unit South Africa, said multiple bullet casings were found near her body. According to Rusa, the deceased woman was employed as a supervisor for the Ethiquini municipality. She was allegedly shot and killed on Old Main Road in Ottawa, Kazian outside the Water and Sanitation, Roads and Storm Water Maintenance Depot. Ethiquini lost a 737 million, businesses fight to stay afloat. Ethiquini municipality, along with the rest of KwaZulu-Natal, is still evaluating the extent of the damages of the recent disastrous floods. According to preliminary reports, the municipality has lost a 737 million in gross domestic product GDP since April 14. Businesses leaders across sectors in Ethiquini met with the municipality to assess the current Herculean task of rebuilding the city. Mayam Solisai Konda says Ethiquini is one of the hardest hit districts in the province as all of the 111 wards suffered from the torrential downpours and their aftermath. SASA R 350 grant recipients must reapply, applications open on April 23. The Department of Social Development announced that recipients of the COVID-19 Social Relief of Distress SRD, grant must reapply for the assistance as it will now be paid out under a new legislative framework. This comes after President Cyril Ramaphosa extended the SASA R 350 grant by a further year until March 2023 in his State of the Nation Address, SONA, in February. Ramaphosa said the grant was being extended to ensure no person in his country has to endure the pain and indignity of hunger. COVID-19, SA records 4230 cases and two deaths, 16.8% positivity. South Africa recorded 4,230 new COVID-19 cases on Saturday, April 23, according to the National Institute of Communicable Diseases, NICD. The 25,161 tests conducted over the past 24 hours represent a positivity rate of 16.8%. The 4230 new COVID-19 cases detected in South Africa on Saturday bring the total number of active cases in the country to 26,819. Two people died of COVID-19-related complications in the last 24 to 48 hours, according to the NICD. Please subscribe for more news updates. This is Leah for the South African.